Hi guys! Welcome back to Darish Zone channel and this is the return of ba 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 It's new, it's fresh, new, it's incredible. The guys doesn't stop and they keep improving this fantastic front end, which is a fork of it was a fork of Recall Box, but right now it's something on his own. It's a fantastic, it's very console type front end. I made a look at to the many beta they released for the 523 uh, version and I have even uh, tested some of them but now is the is the time for the final version that they put together a, a, a lot of new features I even one what well, even I I don't can imagine oh, oh, so many changes, so many features, new features, because the Batocera is a community of talented guys, and they, I repeat, they keep improving this system. Now you see, this is my own custom theme, the, the, it's the same theme I use on my King image. I've just, just set this theme to, to test this uh, this new version 5 to 3 version so this is not uh, obviously the theme you find when you install the battle share but uh, I show this because one of the great features is the perfect compatibility with all the emulation station themes so you can get the theme you want and you can install on your card and it will be totally compatible maybe you, you have to set some um, change some theme because for example the Batocera has a, a system called PR Boom which manage the Doom games so you need to have a folder with the arts called PR Boom if you don't have that you will see um, an empty space so you know you have to you have always to tweak something to make these works but I can show you the emulation station teams works well on Batocera and if you use the for example the RST one the Dwayne Arts fantastic team even that that the team is a fork of Super Sweet by Dwayne Hart you don't you don't have a, so much issues with, with that because the the Dwayne Arts team are almost compatible with, with all the, a lot of, of uh, artwork, a lot of system coverage, so no problem. But uh, let's uh, look at the feature, the new feature of this image. Some of them you already know. For example, the they added the Commodore 64 with the um, the emulator Libretro, that means uh, you have the, the overlays for the system because it uses the device, uh, Libretro device. In that case, there's not the, the overlays because I will explain why. Some loadings as, as usual. Let's turn back a little and um, another fantastic thing of this image is the soundtrack. They totally remade the the background music player and this time it can it can play music uh, related to 
a specific system if you want or, or you can just uh, go with the classic uh, random shuffle of, um, of music that you put on the music folder okay and uh, Okay, okay, you already saw some uh, video for the beta of 5 to 3, so I will explain on this video the, the very new feature because the Commodore 64 already, already saw they added the Libreto. You know, I, I care about the Commodore 64, you know, you fucking know! So, and uh, let's uh, look together the new fantastic background player it, it is capable of show the, the titles I, I have to admit that this is a, a function I would I'd like to have on the RetroPie for example and it doesn't have this option you, you have to use uh, some external script to to get the, the titles of the tracks Okay, for this test video I've used music made by myself, Omega Kid is my art name because I don't want issues with the YouTube, but you can add the music you want or in that case I've, I've, I've um, activated, uh, I've enabled the, the music that change for every system so you see, I just show that to to let you look at the, the titles, Omega Toys, Letter B House. You see, when the music changes, you will see the pop up that. Uh, so, uh, very visual appealing. Let's disable for a moment the, the system, uh, music for system. And uh, the, the speed is very fast. I just uh, had some, uh, some ROMs to test. Don't mind that there's no artworks, it's very rough. It's just to the PlayStation games are around uh, the seven eight seconds, which is very very good. And this is for rally too. And that uh, is not a uh, gameplay video, just uh... it uh, took a, a little more time because you see my display made a switch of resolution because it down downgrade to uh, HD ready but there's no problem because you can set this value on game setting go to advanced and there you have all emulators and for every emulator you can change some very interesting values like you can change the core you can change the ratio you can force for example widescreen for every game without touch the retro arc this is a very fantastic or you can change the video mode so you, you can force full HD so there's no problem you have uh, all all you needed is on the main menu and this is one of the most uh, fantastic the best uh, feature of this front end it doesn't have uh, you notice the the option slide like RetroPie is everything on that menu and, and uh, on top of that there's Kodi Media Center already installed the controls are recognized very easy it's, it's, it's very all is set you have you have only to add your ROMs your favorite games assume that you have legit backups of this game remember that otherwise you can cannot play them okay that was said it is that a, a, an internal scrape very very efficient and the, we just scrape the surface of the great features they added for example they I don't I, I was not expecting that at all The overclock uh, tool is included, is native, is hard-coded. If you select update, 
you see you have the bezel project native R code this is an incredible I, I was not expecting to, to find that the bezel project is a script uh, on Retrovi you have to install separately for the, the main system and in that case is included it's not perfect because uh, at the moment there's only eight system bezel but I'm sure they will increase the supported systems and you can install or uninstall bezel still from the main menu you just download the all you need for from um, the network so remember your machine UPI need to be connected that's the auto update is to update for the new version when, when we released remember that you can also update to Abida for example if you like to follow and uh, maybe made some feedbacks and support to the beta development you can also update to a beta version or the stable version you have many some a uh, lot of choices so let's move on the in my humble opinion the best absolutely best feature of the Batosera image is the complex system of uh, overlays is a, a very innovative you don't manage the overlays into the retro arc like RetroPie for example you you made it already you need you made it happens here here you can set the smooth for games you can set the ratio you can uh, the rear wind the, you can set the shader the integrate the, the integral scale and decoration the decoration you have a lot of choice if you install the bezel project you have uh, the, you can set uh, from the menu or the main the many ambience which are overlays made fro from the Bathosera team and not all you can also set your bezel in that case I have called a DZ you just link your folder on the Bathosera uh, bezel folder and will set totally automatic your bezel to the game for example let's try again it for speed for PlayStation and it should be load my bezel you see this is the bezel I made and the system applied the the overlays without touch the retro arc you can leave retro arc totally alone poor retro arc but you can still recall the retro arc and look how it's good the GUI is fantastic is the ozone, ozone if I'm not wrong so very elegant this is a, a visual appealing front end it's very for those who like the very aesthetic this game took an eternity to load them is to <sighs> infograms it's a view ready to the French games is uh, was uh... okay so you have the bezel for the system and so um, there's a, the, the, many systems like Amiga supported it's fast, it's stable, there's not um, it's very user friendly another great thing of Batocera is the the fact is user friendly, I will show also the 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 full theme because this is the theme you find when you strike strike start the, the the system first time for example uh, the 
Automatic bezel of Vatosera comes handy in case of handled. For example, let's try. Let's stick to auto and try the Game Boy Advance. You already have a, a bezel with uh, made some. Um, you see the, the the frame is altered. Uh, to make that on your own uh, will take a, a, a lot of time, and uh, you just skip all this hassle because it's already set for you. This game doesn't run very good. This is the, 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 the game you find the, the full on ima image, it's just a, a game without legends, so you can delete this game, this game if you want to. So you see it's stable, it's fantastic, it's fast, mm, nothing wrong with this new release. I wasn't... It surprised me on some elements I don't expect to, to, to find on this new version, but I know the ultra quality of the release and the how great is the team behind behind that. So the the pro the pro factor is the is um, the plus of the the, the front end is the, the fact that is um, very user friendly, is fast, is easy to to use. It's already set for you. Just just need to to add your games so easy the cons of the release is uh, it lacks some system sadly they keep to ignore some system like Daphne and um, open board for example there's no trace of this system on on the image unfortunately uh, ma many people are like Daphne, so I can understand that the open board, which is very niche, 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 whatever. But uh, the Daphne is uh, can be justified, in my humble opinion. They very need to add the Daphne, even if uh, some hate the laser game. They are part of our. Uh, retro gaming history, so they are very needed on uh, an front end. I appreciate, uh, I greatly appreciate they included the, the Liberto version of Commodore 64, you know. And uh, the Amiga is good, but uh, is not perfect yet because there's some uh, uh, some issues they keep to ignore. Uh, don't know why maybe they don't know how to manage this but uh, basically some function of the Amiberry emulator are broken nothing that can ruin uh, this platform you can play the you can play the, the Amiga game there's not problem but uh, one very cool function of uh, the Amiberry emulator is the fact it can uh, do the fast saves of game, which works uh, uh, very similar to the fast fast saves of uh, the PC, 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 PC. In that case, the fast saves are broken. The fast saves uh, you have to recall the Amiberry menu, and are the save states are called. You have four slots. This works uh, very well on RetroPie, so. Is a cons unfortunately on this release if you select a slot and then select save state it is should save your game but when you uh, go back and do the lot state it's refuse to do and uh, show an error if you close look uh, when you exit from the emulator, you you notice there's something different, and uh, instead of uh, save the game, it just save uh, a photo of the game. The core is the last thing to be attacked by the decay. It's the R complex circuit, central bit of 
prehistoric jelly that we inherited from the reptiles. And this is the 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 the, 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 the Basically, the system uh, uh, think uh, I've uh, made uh, a snapshot of the game, but uh, in fact, uh, that one is not uh, a, a snapshot. It would not be very logic to have uh, only four slots to save photo. It's just uh, four save slots. So I, I think uh, these uh, issues can be fixed by the the, God, the Pato guys. So I'm. I hope they will manage and realize this, this problem. I repeat, it's nothing can ruin the Amiga experience, but it's just useful to have those four slots for save your games. So I've been said, thank you for watching. I, despite all, I highly suggest this release if you are, are on, if you look for um, easy, easy to use, very user friendly front end. This is one for you. I've been said. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to channel, and we catch up on the next one. Bye 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 from bye 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 bye